Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to our scale modeling and this is part two of our German Type 21 submarine build by Ravel. 144 scale. And if you watched part one, which I hope you did, um, you'll know that uh, I've painted some of the parts that go on this uh, and particularly the lever sections here and then I've decided now I'm going to paint this so that's what I'm about to do now is put uh, an undercoat on the main hull of the submarine inside and out and while it's drying we'll get on to um, we'll skip forward a little bit in the instructions and have a look at the, the coning tower that needs to be put together and also the deck seems to need to go on in a couple of steps from now as well so it probably would be a good idea to undercoat it as well in fact I will I'll take the deck which is here there's our deck which also serves as the roof on the underside for in for the interior which is really nicely done with um, quite a bit of detail in that as you can see that roof area um, and of course lighting this model means that I'll be attaching LEDs to that as well um, there's our coning tower there which needs some pieces added to it I just quickly saw in the instructions so I might be able to do that before I paint it and I'll just make sure there's nothing I need to put on the on the deck that could get painted um, while we're doing that as well so we're not really following the instructions in order in this build mainly because of the way we need to paint but um, anyway I'll just go grab the other parts that I've painted and we'll have a look at how they are and also the stand which I forgot to I completely skipped showing put that being put together I've got that all painted up so I'll be back in a second we'll have a look at that Okay, so here's our stand all done. Uh, quite simple together, it's only three pieces. And I've painted that in a metal black. So, and just one coat, and that's fine. I undercoated it first and then done in the metal coat. I've literally done that half an hour ago, so that's still going to dry. But, um, yeah, so that's simple, that's done. Now, also did all these bits so on here we have there's one of the rudders on the back so that's come up looking quite nice that's the final that's the actual gray that I've decided to do the sub then where the screws connect onto the back there we've got that painted up I might have to move that so it doesn't affect there we go. So that's that one. And and then the smaller ones which we can move are these little fellas here. And again they're painted up nice. And I've just done them in the last half hour. There you go. So that's good. Oh, and the base for the mechanism to slide is also painted. There you go. Done. Now I'll leave them to dry for a couple more hours. And in the meantime, I'll take off the deck and get it painted, undercoated, at least undercoated now uh, with these two and put all those aside to dry and uh, yeah we'll, we'll tick some boxes on some of the steps we'll have completed by then okay back shortly okay welcome back so I've got the hull undercoated well I've done the inside I'll do the outside later I'm pretty sure we've got some nice weather here today things are going to dry pretty quick so I may get the base coat on as well today so that's really good. Um, 
Now I've gone ahead a little bit just to check what else I can do while things are drying. And up in the coning tower there's this little piece here. This is in step 12. And uh, I was wondering, oh how's this going to fit? So what I did was I'm having a look at the coning tower on the sprue here. And it seems that this little piece will is actually going to sit in there like that. So that'll fill in the interior of the coning tower which means I don't have to paint the back of it. Um, but I do have to do inside. And what I'm going to do is I'm probably choosing the off-white, which is that one. I'm going to do the off-white on the inside just to see how that goes down. Um, if it's too bright, um, too light, I'll put a grey over it, a light grey over it. But I just want you to have a look at the detail on this the detail in there so look at that so there's all those gauges and pipe work on that rear wall the only thing missing is either end see so here and here is nothing so I don't know what I can do about that um, just shame to leave that blank like that but anyway um, so that's going to get painted and now there are decals to go in here as well so there's three decals to sit in here one's a gauge then there's another piece and another little dot so I mean I'll, I'll see, see if I can show you here so we've got piece uh, number 17 18 and 19 are the numbers for the decals that go in here which will be see if we can get this to focus come on all right beautiful you can see how beautiful these decals are so there's number 17 let me find my um, poking device uh, also glue applicator so there's number 17 is that gauge will go in there number 18 will be I think that's all one piece there so all that will go in and 19 looks like all of those so there's quite a bit of colored engages to go in there so that'll look good um, there you go just I don't know if I've showed you the decals before if you've seen the unboxing video it looks go through all these decals but there you go they look pretty good eh? Um, so I'm just concerned about that blank wall because it will be visible and it's a shame there's nothing on there so um, I might be able to create something there even if it's like a bit of piping or or something anyway alright so um, so I'm gonna go and give this quick coat undercoat in there and it shouldn't take long to dry and then I'll be able to put the the white the off white on there and see how that's looking okay back shortly with another update <laughs> Okay, just back quickly again. Um, got some more bits to paint. Turning towel. Why not? Uh, again, it's uh, something that uh, once I do the piece in here with all the interior, well, that's going to need to go on there. These will need to get glued together, and then I can start putting on the periscope and um, little aerials on the top. So I'm going to paint these. And uh, just a tip. Well, I don't know about a tip, but just... A problem I've noticed um, is that uh, I'm getting a lot of dust around and unfortunately for me I'm, I'm working in my dining room lounge room and I have carpet and uh, it creates a lot of dust believe me and uh, while I'm looking at these and um, trimming them up and getting all the bits off and making them nice and clean I'm noticing little bits of dust appearing on there so when I go and take them into the other spare bedroom, which I use as my spray booth, <laughs> uh, I usually have to use the airbrush just to blow the dust off. Um, otherwise, if I don't think to do that, you end up uh, painting it and having dust in your paint, which is not good. So, um, yeah, just a little thing I've noticed uh, happening probably more lately. I don't know why. Um, Maybe I should change the jumper I'm wearing or whatever. It's winter now, so they tend to wear more clothes. So maybe that's 
creating more dust. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll, I'll give them a clean. I think you can get these anti-static cloths that might help. Uh, maybe you can put down in comments what it is that you can help uh, uh, sort of deter the dust from uh, being attracted to the plastic. Because uh, that seems to be what's happening. Anyway, once again, back shortly. Okay, welcome back. So, let's have a look at what I'm doing here. Is I've um, painted the interior of the coning tower in the this uh, sort of off-white, which I think is kind of quite good. Um, so it's not really dry, but the color is nice. Um, it's not too white. I think it looks pretty good. It's highlighting some of the detail in there, which is good. Now in here goes the periscope control, which sits, connects onto the roof in there. You can see that. We connect in there. And this is it here. It's going to focus. Now I'm painting it at the moment just with a brush. So I've done the grey in the centre along. And the two lighter bits there and there, I'm going to do those in a aluminium colour. Just make them stand out a little bit more. And then the two handles here, which you um, operator would hold when they viewing through this uh, the periscope I'll do those handles black a NATO black so I'm just uh, about to first of all do those handles at the NATO black I'll just give it a shake you might as well watch me do that um, so here we go I don't know how I'll be able to see too well um, really all you need to know is that my eyes can see this so it's pretty hard to get some background what if I do that maybe that'll help uh, there. So let's see how we go just touch a little black on the brush not going to focus it's not going to focus is it so you can only do so much <laughs> I didn't even get any on the paint this is probably not a good idea to try and do this on camera it's just too small yeah so I'm going to go ahead and paint this and when I come back we'll have a look at it's done that's the best way uh, if anything I always as I do put photos up and we can see even better Okay, back in a sec. All right, so it turned out well. There's a picture up, show you how it come up. Um, it'll match there to show you roughly the size, give you an idea. So anyway, it's uh, I'm letting that dry now, and then I'll pop it in there. Um, but I've got to put the decals on here first, um, so I'll leave that till later when everything's dried up properly, and um, we'll sit all the decals in there. We'll come back and have a look at how that's going. Okay, cheers all, back soon. Okay, well, there, hello there and welcome back. And um, like I said, I was going to do some decals, which I've got them all out here ready to go. Uh, I've got a little bit of water here, uh, tweezers. So I'm going to cut them out and place them in here and then we'll put that little periscope in. Um, but I also wanted to show you I've done painted the side of the coning tower here which is the final uh, grey that it's going to be and that's come up looking quite good so also the turrets there have been painted so yeah let's have a closer look let's see if I can get this to uh, adjust my light a bit better there we go there we go so they're painted up and of course this section will go inside there so that's why I needed to paint them. I've also done the, just now I gave the base coat on the actual hull of the submarine literally 60 seconds ago um, so I'm going to let that dry and uh, 
when that's dry, we'll, we'll take a look at that as well. But for the moment, let me put these on and uh, we'll see how it looks when they're done. Back in a second. Okay, so I put the decals on. Um, I hope they stay down okay. They're sitting on raised section of detail that's on there. And the periscope's in there too, so if we have a good look, you'll see that it's looking pretty good. There you go. I'm very happy with that. Obviously when that uh, decals are set, I'll give that a little bit of a clear coat um, in there. And then um, a bit of panel wash will bring out the detail of that piping and bits on the wall there. Oops, sorry, I'm getting out of focus. There we go. Come on, focus back. Oh, it was there a minute ago. Anyway. So, there we go. Not too bad, eh? Alright. So we'll put this aside and um, get on to the next bit, which will be, um, yeah, I'll just let that dry and then I'll, I'll put the clear coat over the top. And then we could probably attach it into, the, into here where it belongs. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. And it's now the next day, in fact, the next afternoon or the next day. And uh, as you can see, I've got these uh, painted here. So this is the deck parts They're painted. They're pretty much going to be like that. They are a slightly darker color that I'll, because I wanted it like that. Then you can see compared to the hull, which is painted. So there's, there's, I don't know how well that's coming up on camera, but probably better look at this piece here. So. You know, the light's not real good, but you can see that there's a the difference in colour. It's a bit darker. So that's going to be just how I wanted it. Not too dark, but just right. And these are done. All I have to do now is the inside of this, which I'll do that um, off-white that I had. Um, so I'll paint all of that, the inside of that. And the same with that, although that's not going to really matter because you won't see anything, but I'll paint it anyway. That'll help reflecting the LED lights for that. And then under here, well, this will be the roof um, of the inside, which will also be that flat white. So uh, I'll give that a coat as well. But it's about 4.30 in the afternoon now, so it's a bit late. I've only just got home from work. Um, so I'll be doing that tomorrow. We'll finish about 1.30. I'll have a bit more time. And uh, I'll get those the white inside of all that painted up. And uh, oh, and I also clear coated the inside of the coning tower with the decals. I've just done that now, just given that a clear coat. So um, tomorrow we'll have a look at fitting that onto the coning tower, which is going to go. That's the un. That's the, the that's the full side. There's the side so it'll sit in here and because I've clear coated it we can hit it with a bit of um, panel line wash just to get that piping and see how that comes up underneath because you saw how look good it is with the decals so that was good so all right uh, sorry it's a little bit rushed at the moment but uh, uh, having to work now every day Monday to Friday is cutting into my modeling time which is a shame but at least the money's good. I'm getting some decent money now. So more money, buy more models, more videos. Sounds good, eh? All right, I'll be back when I get these painted tomorrow and we'll have a look. But to you, in about two and a half seconds. Cheers. Back shortly. Okay, so welcome back again. And uh, so what I've done is I've just applied a bit of this uh, panel line from Tamiya here and I used a cotton bud just to place it in there and here's the result get the 
focus for me. Come on, focus. Now it's looking pretty good. If I can get that to focus. Come on. Did it for me before. There we go. So we've got a bit of um oh I've got some on my hands here. Where does that come from? The bottle. <laughs> Making a mess. Okay. Tidy up a bit. Okay, there we are. So there we go, that's working. So you can see a bit of detail work on the walls there. I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, that's that. So now all I've got to do is put this uh, and glue it to here. Let me just wipe my hands. I'll be back in a second. Okay, that's better. So. Yeah, so now we just need to insert this in here, which is going to be glued into there just like that. And that'll be our interior of the coning tower. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to take a second just to put that into there like that. Okay, I'll glue that and then we'll be able to put the other half on, I think. I'll just check the instructions on that because I need to possibly... Um, if I can light this up a bit too, if I can, we'll have a look at it. We're back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. So, let's see what I've done here is I've glued part of this together. So, I got that in, all the interior, and uh, that was quite an effort <laughs> um, because it doesn't fit. As you might notice there, just here there's a bit here where it sticks out so and now the whole piece needs to slide over it just a fraction to the left but it has marking little positions there where where they're supposed to be um, so it can't it can't go because if I put it over the other side of where the um, little bits of plastic were that it's supposed to go into then that side would be hanging out too much so I don't know why that's like that anyway it is what it is <laughs> so in the meantime this piece at first had me worried because I thought wow look at the gap <laughs> that that's supposed to join and it will join it will join um, but I have to glue one end at a time because it is very tight so that I put some some glue down through that and I'll leave that for quite a, a good time to make sure that's set properly before I squeeze those two together and glue that end in and that will have that done now the turrets at the top um, they fit in and they will swivel eventually um, Again, very, very tight fit for those, um, but they, they went on, so that's okay. Now there's a piece in the center here, which I've just undercoated, and I have to paint that gray as well, and that'll sit and cover the top, which is where all the periscopes and aerials and bits and pieces will come up through. Okay, so that's just going to sit and dry for a couple of hours and then I'll glue that side and leave it overnight. Um, this piece with the undercoat I've just done, I'll give that a couple of hours then I'll put the base coat grey on and let that sit overnight. And then we can come back, put them on and then start working on because then we'll have done uh, we've done well step nine is putting the base onto side of the hull but I don't know if we really need to do that yet um, this step 10 is putting all the decals in underneath inside the hull which I've just painted so that can be done possibly tomorrow um, this part here they're drying so that can be that needs to be attached to the hull once that's dried so we can put the deck down um, just waiting for a lot of bits to dry. That's done. That was the interior of the 
coning tower that's put in there's the turrets put on we've done that I've circled them so they're all done these two is gluing the two halves together which I'm in the process of doing there um, and there's that top piece I was telling you about that goes down onto the top and we'll glue that on that'll finish that off then over onto 19 we'll be putting all the aerials and bits and pieces all on the top which should be quite simple just a matter of getting them painted uh, there's some question marks there so I'm, they may be optional I'll have to check what they are and um, going on to step 20 looks like more stuff going on at the top there but anyway it's getting a bit ahead all right so we'll just uh, let this dry glue it and uh, we'll come back and fit the top of that when that's painted up and uh, yeah a little bit more done okay so back back shortly okay hello welcome back so it's the next day and I'm home after work after a day of work and taken the little pegs off and these have glued up quite nicely so it's come together well and there's our interior all looking good now the top bit as I said um, I've just painted that now um, so that's that will go on quite easily I've already test fitted it so it slots in there um, fine now, I've also test fitted this on the deck as well so I know that this is going to fit on there pretty much perfectly so that's all good as well um, turrets are on and they do swivel although one's a little bit tight because in fact one's not going to swivel because I've got some super glue uh, CA glue down on the bottom there by mistake and that's glued it in place but it doesn't matter it's pointing the right direction and that'll be fine okay now I'll put that aside the next part will be inside the hull I'll just grab that and bring it over so we've painted the inside of this the off-white which has come up really nice now if you look here closely and hopefully it's going to focus for me with all that detail in there there we go all requires decals and they're actually asking me to put decals on there now so and that will be in step 10 Let me just have a look here so so there they are there all step 10 now what I want to do is like I did with the inside of the coning tower um, I want to put clear coat in here I don't think I need to clear coat the whole interior although because I'm not too sure how much shows I know some of this is hidden um, by walls and maybe sections through here are hidden but if I do want to do any um, weathering and you know a bit of marks in the back and that then I probably would want it uh, clear coated so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give this a full clear coat over the top and let that dry overnight and we'll be able to come back and put those decals on as they're instructing to do then after that's done uh, the deck can finally go on so we'll be able to install going by the instructions here on step 11 is putting the deck on um, what I've got to think about here is I do plan on lighting this up with LEDs so I need to make sure I have access to the areas I want to put the LEDs and my other problem is that my LEDs haven't arrived yet so yeah and I'm really inexperienced doing LEDs I mean I built the Kitty Hawk but I just put a strip all the way along the inside of the um, hangar deck and that was quite easy to do this is going to be a little bit trickier because all these are individual LEDs that need to be positioned and what I'm planning on doing it is positioning them on here which is the roof and I'm thinking that those little 
little nubs that you see there, they're the original lights, I think. I'll have a look more detail in the in the pictures, but basically those are the positions where I need to attach LEDs um, and wire them up. And with this actually connected on here, I think I should still be able to do that. It shouldn't be a problem. Um, so yeah, we'll keep progressing on anyway, but uh, yeah. Um, all right, so I'll go now and uh, give this a clear coat and come back when it's dry and we'll do that. There's also, I just noticed step seven here where the propellers are and I've got them connected to the little like hydroplanes that they are attached to, um, which the propellers are still on the sprue. I haven't touched them yet, um, but those hydroplanes can be attached to the the rear of the um, submarine's hull there as well. So I may as well go ahead and do that. And that'll be that complete. I can circle those one as, as done too. All right, we're back shortly. And I thought I'd just come back and show you. I'll just do a quick test fit. And I had, and I thought I'd let you hear this. Here it comes. I'll get it lined up. There we go. Satisfying click as it pops perfectly into place. There we go. So I'll um, touch a bit of glue on the inside of there and that'll be done and I'll do it on the other side as well. Okay, back again in a second. Okay, I'm back again. And <laughs> this time I've done all the aerials and radars and the I think it's the periscope and everything and even I've got the um, the uh, propellers or whatever you call them <laughs> on here ready to prime. I figure well if I'm going to get these things primed up um, because they're going to be fitted on top of the coning tower pretty soon. So I'll go give these a spray. Okay back shortly. Hello welcome back. So, uh, as I said, I was going. I have now clear coated all of this, so it's all dried up, and I'm ready to do decals, which I'll be doing shortly. Um, I'll just put that aside. Now, also, all of these have now been undercoated, so they're all done. And what I've decided to do is I'm going to hand paint these individually. So the screws, got it right the screws here um, I'll do in the gold leaf and I'll just hand paint those and then a mixture of the periscope and the aerials a bit of a radar thing uh, there there's a couple of bits that will be done in a uh, steel aluminium and of course the submarines um, hull color gray um, possibly maybe some other colors on that I'll check We've got, uh, it's actually saying F. <coughs> so let me just check the instructions and see what color F is. Most likely it'll be gray because everything else seems to be. No, this one is uh, metallic. Uh, hang on, I need glasses, one second. <laughs> okay, so it's a steel metallic which we have, uh, I've got that somewhere anyway. So again, hand painting all of those, just save me swapping and changing and doing the brush, the airbrush for such tiny parts. Um, also over here is the top of the coning tower uh, done in the final uh, color. So it's been clear, it's been undercoated and done in the XF54 which is the color of our sub the rest of that. So that will get attached onto there. So yeah, it's happening. So I'm just gonna quickly paint these bits, these screws here, and then uh, we'll set everything up and we'll start looking at doing the decals for inside of the hole there. Okay, back in a sec. 
Okay, so um, back again, and I'll just show you here that I've painted those in the gold, and I just dropped that. That's not very good, but it's okay. So they're painted and drying. Uh, also put the top on here, and I painted the gun turrets there, uh, the barrels. Uh, NATO black. Now I notice also I dry fitted all of these parts here which I've now finished painting as well. So we've got the aerials, we've got the funnels, we've got the exhaust, did I say funnels? No, the exhaust, um, periscope, um, we've got the aluminium colour on the tip there, the rest is grey, uh, just a few little aluminium bits most of it's grey and I did notice that they some of them don't fit in these little holes here so we've got all these holes for them and they're yeah it's a bit tricky so I had to um, just make those holes a little bit bigger and uh, they will all fit perfectly on top so they're all drying I leave them aside this is little turrets there are drying and I'll put those aside too. And now, for the next bit of time, I will spend putting these uh, little decals, which go over these pieces that are already in the raised section in there. It's all been clear coated, so they should go on without any problem. Um, yeah. So I'm guessing that those will be visible and anywhere else where there's nothing is not visible there's walls and so forth have to be put in so um, I'm going to cut all these out and position them as they're constructed here so we've got one two three four five looks like six seven eight nine nine uh, different decals to go in there so I'll get on to that now my little bit of water here and um, some cotton buds all set to go so we'll come back and have a look at when it's done back shortly and uh, one one tip I thought I'd mention now that I'm uh, working on these decals is that they're you gotta be very careful taking them off because they're right in the middle of everything as you can see for this one I'll lift it up so there's that one there, which is number 60 something, what was that, 65. Now it's come out of there, so what I would suggest, and you don't need that, is don't use scissors, because they'd be too big, too awkward, and you need to get in there. So get a fresh knife with a sharp blade, and slowly take them off, and make sure you're not cutting towards another decal because you can see the, the shapes like that's one decal and look at the shape so you know you've got to cut around it and you've got to be careful and not only do you not cut towards yourself say if you slip you're not going to cut yourself but also don't cut if you can help it towards another decal because the last thing you want to do is slip or go a bit too far and cut into the next the decal beside it so just a little hint there if you're working on these they're very small and they're all sorts of weird shapes you need a nice very sharp knife and to work around them very carefully and try not to cut towards something where if you slip you damage either yourself or another decal all right so I'll keep going on this and uh, be back shortly and we'll have a look at how it's all come up Okay, welcome back. So, the decals are on. I'll give you a close look at how they went up. They came on, they're looking pretty good there. All little dials and gauges and so forth. So, I've, I've stuck them all down on there with um, Mark Fit Strong for decals. That seems to have done the job. And, uh, 
because they're on raised surfaces, they're not on a flat surface. So I guess it gives them a bit of a 3D look. Um, but yeah, they've, they've come up quite good. Pretty happy with that. Okay, so I'm going to call this a video here for part two. Um, part three will be actually attaching the deck onto here and the two halves of the deck together and getting the coning tower um, put on top as well. And we'll probably get those screws fitted onto the onto uh, these here as well on each side and um, as much else whatever else we can get done as well also so thanks for watching um, please subscribe if you haven't already and if you, this is the first video you're watching go back and watch part one or even better go back and watch the unboxing you can see what this kit's all about um, don't forget to comment below uh, comments are welcome and uh, if you have any questions or tips if you've built this yourself um, or even any suggestions and ideas um, I know I have to do a bit of lighting on this model I'm still waiting on the LEDs to show up um, so that should be alright and uh, yeah give us a thumbs up of course if you like the video and and join us in part 3 as we continue with the build of this German Type 21 submarine. Okay, thanks a lot. Cheers all, bye.